Thanks for watching Info Live TV for Sunday, February 3rd. I'm Elisha Rabin. Retired Justice Eliyahu Vinograd says his committee stands by the harsh statements it made against the government. His remarks come in the wake of an effort by both Prime Minister Omert and Defense Minister Barak to distance themselves from the fallout of the Vinograd report. Justice Vinograd seemed to suggest the public take a harsher stance against those in office. He said the public should read the report and do what it deems necessary. At the same time, Defense Minister Barak said he's not resigning his position anytime soon. Instead, he says he's working hard to implement the recommendations made in the Vinograd report in both the military and political echelons. Prime Minister Omerik made the same argument for keeping his job, saying he is leading a strong government. Meanwhile, things could be heating up on the border with Gaza. The director of the Shin Bet says terrorists smuggled high-quality weaponry into Gaza through the breached border with Egypt. That happened during the last few days. In addition, the intelligence service believes that operatives who were trained in Syria and Iran entered Gaza to lead assaults on Israel. The government may be stalling, but Israeli mayors are taking charge. A group of 15 cities led by the mayor of Tel Aviv are pledging to fight global warming by cutting emissions in their cities. The move came after the Israeli delegation attended a Bali conference on global warming in December. They realized there that most anti-pollution measures start on the local level. The Israeli government has taken little action to reduce greenhouse gases. The coalition of mayors plans to reduce air pollution by 20 percent by the year 2020. Russian tennis star Maria Sharapova crushed Shachar Peir of Israel at the Fed Cup World Group match in Ramat Sharon Sunday. It was hardly a match after Sharapova beat Peir 6-1, 6-1 in the first two sets. Her win came after Sharapova breezed through a number of other Israeli tennis stars earlier in the day. Stay tuned to Info Live TV for the latest developments on Prime Minister Omerit and Defense Minister Barak's attempts to win over the public. And don't miss the action from the Gazan border. What will happen at Rafah next on Info Live TV? You're watching Info Live TV, Israel's first internet TV website, broadcasting in four languages from Jerusalem. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.